The internet is essential to your daily life. It's also crucial for businesses and institutions. However, it's also risky. Governments and companies actively fight against cyber threats and try to protect their users and their assets. And you should do the exact same. Using a proxy server is one way to make the internet safer for users. In networking terms, a client sends a request to a server. For example, when you type a URL in your browser, your browser is the client and the server is the web server that hosts the website you want to visit. A proxy server sits between the client and the server and acts as a middleman. Instead of sending the request directly to the web server, the client sends the request to the proxy server and the proxy server forwards the request to the web server. The server sends the response to the proxy server, which forwards the response to the client. But how does that protect you, the client? A proxy server can be configured to filter the network traffic. For example, it can detect malicious content and block it. It can also block access to certain websites or categories of websites that are deemed malicious or inappropriate. This filtering protects users from malware and other threats. A company can use a proxy server to enforce its internet usage policy and prevent employees from accessing certain websites or categories of websites. A proxy server used to protect the client is called a forward proxy. You'll see later on that there are other types of proxy servers. But on top of that, it will be quite hard for an attacker to target you specifically, to target you personally. As far as the external network is concerned, you don't even exist. Only the proxy server is visible. So the proxy server gives you an additional layer of security and privacy. Moreover, the proxy server can increase the speed of your request. It can cache the responses from servers and serve them directly to the client, serve them directly to you. So your request doesn't even have to go all the way to the server you want to access. But you could be in a context where you feel like some content is being unfairly restricted or censored. In that case, you could use a proxy server to bypass the censorship. Instead of sending the request directly to the server you want to access, you send it to a proxy server, which forwards it to the server you want to access and you get a response back. As long as the proxy server itself is not being blocked, you can access the restricted content. But beware of not going against the law or company's policy. Because let's say we have like a spy sending sensitive information from a government internal network to an external party. If all clients inside the internal network go through a forward proxy server, all users' activity can be monitored and logged. And if that's the case, it will be quite easy to detect who in the internal network is leaking the information. A better approach would be to even put systems in place to detect and block any attempt to send sensitive information outside the internal network and maybe send alerts to the security team if someone tries to do that. A forward proxy server protects internal clients from the external threats. But what about the other way around? What if you want to protect your server from external clients? Indeed, you can apply the exact same principle. You would have a proxy server that sits between your server and the client. But this time, the proxy server is called a reverse proxy. Since the reverse proxy is the only one visible from the outside world, that's where you can put your security measures to protect the server inside the internal network. In a microservices architecture, it's common to have a gateway service that handles user authentication, authorization, and the routing to internal services. And this gateway service is a reverse proxy. And of course, just like the forward proxy, the reverse proxy will block malicious content from entering the internal network and the proxy hides internal servers from the external world, which is a security measure in itself. It's security through obscurity. So attackers can launch like a DDoS attack on a particular server if they don't know where that server is, if they don't even know that server exists. They will have to go through the reverse proxy first. Consequently, 
putting attack detection and prevention measures in the reverse proxy is crucial. So Nginx and Cloudflare are examples of reverse proxy providers that can offer such type of features. But on top of security, reverse proxy servers can also improve the performance of your system. They can cache the responses from the internal servers and serve them directly to the client. However, the reverse proxy cannot cache all types of responses. In those situations where you can't rely on caching, you could use more than one server to handle the load. And guess what? A reverse proxy can help route the incoming request to the different servers and act as a load balancer. As you can see, proxy servers are very versatile and can improve security and performance for both the client and the server. So the proxy concept is fundamental to understand because it's the foundation of many other concepts. We've mentioned the gateway in the microservices architecture, but it's also the foundation of CDNs and many other concepts. You can check out my video on CDNs to learn more about that, or you could start with the video on caching and then move on to the CDN video to understand it a little bit better.